Hi, I'm Tim Rubble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. This is a very uh, special episode for me because we've been living out of the adventure truck for one month now here at Newport Dunes. Now, I can't say that we're roughing it. Uh, some of the things that we do have here is running water. Um, the solar on top is working phenomenal. We're not plugged into anything uh, to run the truck. One of the things that I did discover uh, on this trip was I need a solar panel for the hood to charge the battery uh, on the um, the truck itself. Because uh, running the windows up and down every night, uh, if I do that, um, runs the battery down in about uh, 12 days or so. So I brought a battery charger doing that, but I have a Renogy uh, 50 uh, watt panel flexible that I'm just going to mount on the uh, on the hood and I have uh, my old charge controller so that's gonna work um, I have wiped the truck down uh, one time with the F11 um, it's that called like a wax preventative uh, just to try to keep the truck looking nice in the salt air um, I'm hooked up to uh, gray water so we actually have a hose now that goes and drains into the sewer. Uh, we do have purified water that comes out of the, the faucets, really good. For the most part, it goes into these little uh, cans right here. Got those from, they're like an Ozark Trail from uh, Walmart. I carry um, five of those on board with one glass jar to make sun tea every day. But this is pretty much our setup. I'm gonna go over here to the other side and just kind of work our way through it. Um, this is the ARB awning with their room. Um, this also turns into a screen room, as you can see the panels. My wife takes this over as kind of her place to come, relax, and uh, stage out of. Uh, so this is all of her clothes, and this is kind of what she's come up with for her solution on how to do all this. Now into the new truck, we're gonna have to incorporate um, this type of thing. I, I am going to be having an ARB uh, in the next truck, um, this exact same setup, um, because just because it, it's worked so well. Everything you see here is uh, folds up and goes into the truck. That's amazing. With the exception of a few things that we've acquired since we've been here. Now, there is so much um, waste that goes on here in this type of camp so spot. Um, some people spend a month, so they'll invest in some expensive stuff. Um, like this chair was like $289. I'm sure it was sat in a few times, but it was left next to the uh, the dumpster um, to be processed, so took that. We ended up uh, getting a total gym um, given to us from uh, some neighbors. Uh, we have our kayaks, paddleboard, we've been using those. Um, my wife has taken uh, some of these plants that was left behind and repotted them. So these are like her $60 plant projects now, but they are leafing out and it gave her something super fun to do. Uh, one of the things that we've done every night is we've had a nice fire. And last night I put a super heavy log in it and kind of bent the legs on this. But uh, the good news is, is you can find these fire pits at the garbage can like on the, a Sunday evening. All of the wood you see here has been sourced from foot wood that has been left behind. I make a run every day with the sourced little laundry cart I got. I just make it part of my daily program and I get up at nine o'clock, I go walk the fire pits on the beach and I take out some of the empty stuff, uh, some of the stuff that wasn't used. Um, you know, if there's a lawn chair or something there and it's someone's claiming that fire pit, I don't steal their firewood of course, but stuff that's left behind, um, I take. This, um, little table. I, uh, I repainted the top of that. That's provided a nice little table for us sitting around the fire. This uh, chair, that's a $159 chair that they sell here in the uh, the clubhouse. And uh, that once again was uh, left next to the uh, the dumpster. I got this on um, oh 4th of July weekend. Uh, it was left behind. I, I was like, I have no need for this, but I just can't see something like that being thrown away. It's brand new. I mean, it, it was used once, um, no doubt. These carpets, um, we're getting ready to move spots. We've been here for one month. This is our gym, and this is my little sweetie out here uh, working, making the use out of a uh, ball and um, to balance. One of the things that we did do is we brought all of the weights uh, for Kim to work out, but I, being that I have time now, uh, I've been lifting more weights. So I looked at the Bowflex uh, system that's got, they're, they go up to 52 pounds and there's two, two dumbbells. Um, 
So I guess that's 104 pounds total that you can have for just a dial in um, what, what you want uh, for weight. And I, I said, man, I, I gotta get those. So order those, those will be in uh, today. So all of these are gonna disappear. We're gonna take those home. And then tomorrow uh, we're gonna shift basically this whole spot two spots over um, you know originally we were gonna be here for a week so we came with one easy up and you know put it over the tree uh, over the table and uh, next thing you know we did another easy up and I'm gonna talk about some of the things that's made our life's life so much better uh, you can see down here in the package we have an ice maker the Frigidaire ice maker has been a uh, an amazing deal it makes 26 pounds of ice in a 24-hour period it just keeps basically making ice and dumping it out and then it melts back down into water and just keeps keeps up the process but once you got it set up like this it really lasts a long time you can see here we have a refrigerator now that was another one of the things that was set next to the dumpsters that i just didn't feel comfortable taking um not that it wasn't available just i just didn't know if it's going to work or not so we did go source and buy our own and bring it home in the mustang and that was a epic uh, adventure trip to say the least anyway we added a coffee pot um, you know normally I do a pour over out of the truck but for both of us uh, consuming and enjoying coffee um, the coffee pots worked out really well and that's going to be something that goes into the next expedition truck uh, matter of fact I'm going to incorporate the ice machine uh, you got to remember I'm going to run 1500 watts of solar and a little over a thousand amp hours of lithium ion phosphate battery so I'll have enough to do whatever we might even incorporate this AC refrigerator depending on what it draws but uh, we'll repurpose some of this stuff but this is pretty much our setup we did go source a blower um, I was already bought bought into the cobalt uh, line so I carry a cordless drill a skill saw an impact a sawzall um, a lot of things to work on things out here uh, one of the things that I did run into today I don't know if it was over here or not but I was using a hand I found a hammer um, yeah here's the handle right there in the uh, in the fire and there's the head so I'm gonna go buy like an e-swing or a, a uh, crowbar because what happens is when you pound in these little uh, spikes even though you knock them loose they are a pain to get up and I'm trying to do some prep tomorrow for this move. I estimate we'll probably move in just a little under two hours. Um, that's not bad for another two week stay. Um, things should be pretty good and easy. You know, we'll have to get down our, our greens. I do notice that this um, AstroTurf holds a lot of dirt and that's why we went and bought the, uh, the blower. It's not as good as these little plastic uh, mats, so food for thought. And every couple of weeks you find uh, one of these in the in the garbage that someone's used for a weekend trip and decided they're not gonna take it so we take it wash it and uh, that's where this one came from and then we have another smaller version over there that we're gonna use for our, um, our next spot but uh, we already know what the setup's gonna be um, basically this has been a perfect setup I've left enough room uh, with the truck far enough back that uh, Kim can park her Mustang right here in the spot and that all really works out you know super super well go out here to the street and show you what the spots look like and the cool thing with our next spot is it already has the bamboo up and so uh, right right there's our, gonna be our next spot but uh, this is kind of the walk around of, of what it looks like and it's kind of funny I go in this side and Kim comes in this side but well, while I'm heading down this path, I'll show you just kind of one of my little tool areas that I, I use. Because, um, you know, when I get out on a trip and I see something that I want changed, uh, I want to be able to have the tools and the mobility to be able to do that. So down in here is all tool storage. I got my bike shorts and everything ready to go. But, uh, you know, I carry tools, uh, drill, drill bits, impact. Um, there's a little um, metal grinder in here, cutoff wheel, and then a small little skill saw, and then on the other side I carry a sawzall and a uh, cordless light. Um, and also little things, you know, me being a fabricator, I carry little things that I can use to, uh, to fabricate and stuff, duct tape, safety wire, um, stuff like that, zip ties, hangers, just a little of everything. 
there's the bottles that I, I talked about and uh, you know that's worked out really well I want to make Santee use the uh, the glass I'll do that again in the next truck although we have a hundred gallons of water those are super handy just to uh, to use talking about water um, I've only filled my 14 gallons worth of water one time since we've been here so we've used 14 gallons of basically sink water since we've been here uh, a couple weeks ago laying on the couch uh, came in feeling a little bit uh, under the weather and if you notice this is a different um, different setup than it was this went straight up from here and it was basically a hole um, I cut this whole area out and, and basically welded this truck to the frame um, for me my I wanting to pass my feet through um, you know this couch physically is five foot six I'm six foot three so uh, just made sense so I, I got out the little skill saw pulled back the carpet made a cut um, kind of roughed it in a little bit and then I drew out another uh, line and made another cut and um, then put all the carpet back in place so basically the one of the things I have to finish on this truck is I got to finish um, this area here in the headliner because it is still cut out and it's still raw and it's just something that takes away from um, the finish the finished product of this truck uh, once again talking about solar um, I pretty much leave the TV run uh, all day uh, we're, it's 11 o'clock right now we're already back up to 13 4 the lowest I see with the refrigerator run the TV running at night is 13 1 I've never seen it go into the 12s at all or even 13 0 so that's worked out really well uh, the temperature out here tends to stay 76 degrees inside. Um, I was unsure that this thermometer was even working. Uh, I had this digital thermometer here. I put it out in the sun and of course uh, the temperature changed. So I'm like, okay, it works. But it stays. You come in here at 12 o'clock at night, it's 76. Um, you come in here uh, during the day, it's 76. So the rig is well insulated. Um, with the windows down and this bigger area cut, that really is been nice to keep it cooler and then when we go to bed at night I do drape a uh, little blanket over that that just kind of gives you another barrier and uh, warms it up in here a lot of times being at the beach I'll light a little candle and uh, it's a three burner and I put that just on um, so it's underneath the uh, the plate so it warms that plate up a little bit move the wine of course and um, it dries things out it doesn't make it so wet and muggy in here for you know I burn it for a couple hours before we go to bed and then blow it out and then uh, then we're good but that's pretty much been it um, ants have been a little bit of a problem but we've uh, done a good job of getting a hold on that um, we did buy an outdoor trash can that has helped out a lot because remember this trash can is very small it's basically a shopping bag and uh, Kim wanted something a little more for outside so pretty much what our routine looks like if you're even interested in that is um kim wakes up early like six o'clock in the morning and she goes out and does a walk around the bay um she does some uh, yoga some meditation some chanting and just comes back um really really good and healthy and happy and i could tell that now me, I'm a little slower to get up. I get up with the uh, the sun. Some days that's 7.30, some days that's 8. Because um, it does uh, become a little overcast um, here. But um, it's worked out really well. We have coffee, we do our thing. And then pretty much this right here is her mobile office um, that we're utilizing the picnic table. And um, it's just, just a happy, perfect place. You know, if you gotta work, you gotta work. And um, we have internet here, although it's um, right there is our little tower, and uh, I gotta say it's it's probably um, you get to in the middle of a Netflix movie, and um, then all of a sudden cuts off. You've lost your internet, so it's not consistent. But that's good. Then I'll just link it to my phone and finish up the movie or whatever it's gonna be. Um, I find that we're not watching a whole lot of TV. I'll put the news on in the morning. Um, maybe I'll get a Netflix movie in maybe two to three times a week at the most because for the most part, man, I'll tell you what, 10 o'clock, I've been doing training sessions. I've lost weight. I feel good. This right here, in my opinion, is my dream 
desired life. Like to wake up, not have an agenda other than you want to train, you want to eat healthy, you want to go out and live and see cool things. Um, this type of lifestyle really has provided that for us. Um, I think Kim says the same thing. Uh, you know, here once again, we were supposed to be here for one week and we just extended for two more weeks. So that's going to put us at six weeks total uh, that we're going to be here and who knows where it's going to be. So far, she's able to work and do all of her work here and online and do her Zoom meetings and everything that needs to be done. And that's working uh, really well. Um, it's probably not where she probably doesn't work any less right now. She probably works a little bit more and it's it's more grounded. But, um, you know, on your lunch break, you can go do a paddleboard session or you know go knock out some whatever you want to do. Um, we spend our days, believe it or not, um, pretty separate. Um, she does her work. I go out and do my bike ride. A lot of times I'm out for two and a half, three hours on a bike ride. Uh, it was kind of cool the other day, uh, riding the bike, I get past and I kind of pick up my pace a little bit and uh, down PCH, it's Jeff Ward. And, um, you know, he was one of my motocross legends from back in the day. So we ended up having a little chat at the stoplight. I thought that was super cool. And uh, it's just one of those things. It's like, you know, this is a different environment and you're living the dreams. So the plan is uh, this next year is going to get that new truck built, um, Oscar Mike. It's gonna have about a 15 foot garage on it so we can carry all of our toys and not have so much all spread out. But Kim has already made it very clear that she likes to be outside. And she likes to be outside when it's, even when it's raining, as long as she's not getting wet and the temperature's not all cold. But she's been outside working when it's, um, you know, raining. It's been outside when, when uh, it's windy. Um, she really enjoys the outside for myself. I come in and retreat. Um, not even going to lie. I've been for the most part, I average probably four days a week, go do a training session, have my one big meal, more of a keto type meal. And then I, I take a nap. I, I get a nap every, every day if I want it. Most of the time, sometimes we're pressing and we're doing things out and things, things go by. And next thing you know, you know, it's 1030 at night and we're laughing out by the fire. That's one of the things that we've done. I think we've missed a fire two nights in the 30 days. Um, we sit, we get connected, we talk, and it's just been a wonderful time. We have wonderful neighbors, um, people that I believe will probably be, from this point on, lifelong friends with. Um, there's a couple couples here that, that are just outstanding and phenomenal. And just for their um, privacy, I won't mention them by name, but uh, we really have some neat, uh, neat people that are surrounding us that do all kinds of different things in the world. So it's, it's neat to be exposed to that type of thing. Um, next year, we'll be down here June, July, August, probably even September. And then um, at that point in time, she'll be back in her school and do, do what needs to be done there. And I'll probably go uh, you know, back and forth from my dad's and be on the, be on the road. I'll, I'll probably do more staging out of Bullhead City, Arizona than I will in uh, California. But uh, I'm gonna keep Oscar Mike out and rolling and enjoying and filming the adventures. And whenever Kim can get out and join me, um, man, it's been good. We weren't sure how this all was gonna work as a couple because uh, I've done this a lot by myself and then we've camped here for three or four days. Now you can do anything for three or four days. You can sleep on the ground to enjoy stuff like this. But um, like 30 days, I'm gonna say we're in a routine. We have a great understanding and things are working out really well. So that's about all I can think of. If you got any questions or comments, hit me down below. If you haven't uh, liked and subscribed, please uh, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell, um, get notified. I'm trying to put out a video about once a week once again, the internet's slow. My last video took five days to upload from here. So <laughs> not exactly awesome, but uh, it's it's definitely worth the, uh, the trade-off. Anyway, I got the truck build coming up. Plenty of gear reviews coming up uh, on stuff we've, uh, we've used and what's worked and what hasn't. There's been a few things that didn't work for us that we thought how they were going to work. Um, so I'll be covering those too. That's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Roble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll catch you here next time.